Good morning. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. to Ozark's Box AM on this glorious Wednesday. I'm Jeremy Ray. I'm Maddie Conklin. I sorry. What? Uh, uh. Oh, and we're done. <laughs> okay. Um, no, Maddie, I just, as they played our theme song. Yes. Now I wish I remember what it was. Anyway, it triggered a memory. I meant to tell you. So that little good times, good times. Ba -da -da -ba. Guess what? what? I was prepping my rave review for today, and I looked through different TV trailers and see what I need to watch or what I have watched, and I was watching a trailer, and guess what song was in the trailer? For real? Our theme song. Really? Yes, but. Well, what? Oh. What? Oh, are, you, are you reviewing it today where you no. can say what show it was? No, and or? I can't remember what show it was. Oh, I go through okay, a lot of okay. stuff and I was like, I should have written it down because I went, wait a minute. I just had wait a good tick. times, good times. Yeah. Isn't it well, crazy? How fun is that? I will find the show and then show it to you because I meant okay. to do that and I forgot. But I was like, oh, our theme song is right there. A theme song? Also, um, we want to give a shout out to one of our dear friends of the show, uh, Carla. Hale, she is also an author, but um, she, I believe, is over at Cox Health today. Yes. Um, going through some treatments for you, her. You remember her? She came on with our friend, artist Gage Becker. She wrote the book, and she has um, uh, inoperable uh, cancer. Yes. And she's going through treatment, and we wish her all the best. We know she's there today watching yes. from the hospital getting her treatment, and we love her so much. And her sister came, and remember her dog came? Yes, Finley. Finley. The, the title of the book is Faith and Finley, and they go across the Ozarks. Yes. So. And Hi, Carla. the good news is we're gonna have her back to and kind of like get updated on her journey and how she's doing. Mm -hmm. But just knowing she's there watching our show at the hospital getting treatment, just know we love you and we're praying for you. Yes, I mean, absolutely. you got this, you got this. And I kind of feel like my shirt's giving off a little bit of like crazy zebra vibes today, so <gasps> hopefully you're feeling the zebra love because that's yeah. that is her uh, I guess that's animal, that, that that's, that's the symbol for um, the that yes, type of cancer. That type of yes. cancer. There we and go. And I'm so sorry I'm going blank again. Wait, more coffee needed. I was going to say we. So Jeremy asked before we even came on. So is this week going slow or fast? I go. Well, it's only Wednesday, so let's see. And he goes, Well, don't bring me down. <laughs> I was like, I mean, it's gone fast, but now it's Wednesday, so we're halfway through. My my brain is starting to slow down significantly. Yeah. I can feel it. <laughs> It's really weird with morning hours how it does affect your brain. I was talking to somebody on a shoot and I was like, it's so weird now how you do start slowing down in the afternoon sooner because I'm oh, pretty yeah. alert in the mornings now. Uh huh. But if I have a later afternoon shoot, I'm kind of like, Bleh. There have been many a time where after work I go home and I start to just work on my computer and then mm -hmm. I end up in this position, just stuck. And then I'm like, <gasps> what time is it? And it's only been like, 30 minutes that have passed, but like I'm so tired that I just like knock out and then I'm back in it, you know? It's crazy. Oh, and by the way, too, I, I'm just, you're sparking all kinds of memories, okay, Maddie. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm calling them Maddie Memories with Jeremy and Maddie. Um, I need to pass along something in a minute to Jesse for a possible headline because I saw this crazy thing uh, on social media about a new type of airplane where they're gonna start stacking the seats. Oh, and that stacking the seats? Yeah, so you could be actually sitting above somebody. Huh, And like bunk beds? Kind of like uh -huh. bunk beds, like but it's like. But it's not a double-decker plane, like you're no. literally. Like, but it's like they're, they're trying to get, I think, either more oh. people or give you, because wow. if you're sitting on the bottom, guess what you can do? If you're sitting on the bottom, you can lay down, oh, that's and cool. then you can sit up. And the upper one, I don't think, is just reclined, it just sits. I have so pictures. is that gonna be the new coach, and then this is first <laughs> class? <laughs> first class <laughs> coach, can you, uh, you By know. the way, I do have pictures. I will send them to <laughs> you, right, just for your thoughts. This. Yes. I totally, you, see, looking at you, well, and Jesse made that memory. And then that just clicked God. the AI story from yesterday, or you were talking about the goggles that are yes. $3,500. From Apple, and, yeah. I don't know where that memory was going, but you did mention it. It triggered something, and now I forgot. Jesse, help me. Hey there. <laughs> What's happening? Well, I actually saw a tweet yesterday about those goggles okay. that I thought about um, with this. So the original iPhone 1 that, you know. Uh, in, in 2007? In the, oh, yeah, yes. The, the original, the mm -hmm. OG iPhone 1. Uh, one of those sold for $63,000 this year. So, like, in its factory sealed case and everything. Oh. Okay. And how much were those when they came out, you think? Oh, they were expensive. I couldn't afford three, one. Three, four hundred dollars? No. What? No, I think, I think more than that. Five hundred? Were, were they? Were they? Can we Google that? Anybody got probably a Google? Probably pretty pricey. 2007 iPhone 1 cost. Yeah, yeah cost. I'm sure it was, yeah, it was cost probably up near. Because I had a rich so. friend, an older gentleman, rich friend, investor of a show, and he had one. He had the very first one. He came it's to, all the, the rich he came to rehearsal them. and was like, look what I can do. And I was like. An iPhone, wow. Yeah. Well, I was thinking. What? Five ninety nine. $4.99 oh. and five ninety. Okay, so right. between five hundred and six hundred. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. I'm thinking, if if we buy one of those Vision Pro things, 
they're thirty five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Right. Imagine how much one of those will be in like 10, 15, 20 years from now when somebody's like, you know, I'd love to have the original one. How much like at an auction? Yeah. Buy that instead of stocks. Right? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, That's I would buy one of those and hold on to it. And just in the factory sealed case and just keep it. $3,500, sell it in 20 years and you probably made it. Somebody tweeted that if it appreciated at the same value, it would be worth nearly half a million dollars. Oh. When Jesse thinks the same good time idea. So there you go. If being able to use it, then what's the point? You just, it's like it's a, a, a long-term like investment. <laughs> Yeah. Long-term investment. I it's like your kid's instant college gratification. plan. Instant gratification. Maddie, your kids can go to college for free. <laughs> yeah, wow. just buy, buy a Vision Pro and you've paid for your children's college. Yes. There we there go. go. Cool. Again, we are not financial advisors. Please do not take our advice. That should Adding be like a lower third graphic here. We need that. <laughs> That's a tweet yeah. I saw. Don't, don't listen to don't us. Don't listen to I us. I see a lot of tweets. Not <laughs> yeah. a lot of them I'd share, but that one I did. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so I got a story for you here. A world record was <laughs> set this week at a mall in Malaysia. Okay, the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Verse, uh, the new Spider-Verse animated movie, has fans going all out, and they did that for a uh, record number of people gathered while dressed in costumes of Spider-Man. 685 people gathered at a Malaysian mall in various versions of the Spidey costume, the largest group ever of folks wearing Spider-Man outfits in one place. What a very niche Guinness World Record that is. Mm -hmm. And they had an official on hand to count everybody that was there to ensure that everyone spent at least five minutes there to um, qualify for the record. Oh the gosh. previous one, <laughs> 601, was set in December of 2021. So they beat that record by 84 webheads out there at the Malaysian Mall. Hmm. So there you are. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, oh. I was saying this a minute ago, or a few minutes ago, that where's New York? Come on. Yeah, right? right? Where's the New Yorkers at? Spider-Man's like your guy. That's you got to show out for, for Spidey, for Peter Parker. Peter Parker. That's what I'm saying. I was going to say, if they did the count once, don't you need to go back and do it again just to really ensure? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, how are they keeping track? I'm going to guess one of those clicker Maybe, things. Maybe, uh, right? I'm wondering if they, like, shut down the mall for oh, this yeah. particularly, and they were, like, like a turnstile scenario. Uh-huh. They do that at some stores, too. Do they? You know when you go through like Menards, you have to go through that click thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tring, tring, but I was tring. thinking Mall of America. Isn't mm -hmm. it like the biggest mall ever? Yeah. Of America. They should have one at Mall of America. <laughs> it's yeah. named in after America. our country. In America. <laughs> <laughs> it's named after America now. I mean, come yeah, on. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, here's something that did not happen in America. A, mo a man caught a monster catfish in the world's, uh, uh, sorry, in Italy's longest river. Oh. And he has the picture to prove it. Here it is. This oh, no. was oh, caught gosh. by Alessandro Biancardi. He says, couldn't believe his eyes when he finally reeled in this massive catfish. Took him 40 minutes oh. to reel this, thing is, uh, reel this thing in. It's over six feet long, and <gasps> after all the photos and measurements were taken, he's like, all right, free, free you are. Set it back into the water there. So, oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. good, okay. I'm looking at this and thinking, we could have had ourselves a big old fish fry with well, that thing. That but, also. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, that too. Yeah. That too. What is all that discoloration on it, though? Like, is you that know, normal? Maddie, do not know. body shame him. <laughs> no. <I'm> not. <laughs> Sorry, boy. Maddie. Sorry, Mr. Catfish. I didn't mean to, but like, it's okay. when you're talking about eating that, I'm like, well, first and foremost, it's fish. But I've heard in the Ozarks, there's some really big catfish at the oh, yeah. very bottom. We, yeah, we went uh, last year for Daybreak on the Lake. I went catfishing, and uh, this the guide I was with, uh, we, we caught a couple of big ones. And yeah. I, what I should have done in hindsight is, because he flayed them for me right there on the dock and cleaned them up, and they, I fried them Ooh. that night. What I should have done is brought them in. And had you guys. Thank you. Why didn't you? Uh, next time I go, <laughs> next time I will catch a catfish at Lake of the Ozarks, bring it back here, and I'll have you guys fry it. By the oh. way, Jesse, when you said he went catfishing, I have a totally different idea yeah. now of what catfishing is. Yeah, so. not. Oh, not, yeah. <laughs> not, <laughs> just I'm it. like, Jesse. Yeah, not the making a fake dating profile. Okay, yeah. just checking. Um, <laughs> yeah, different actual catfishing with reeling them in. With a real, yeah. real. Rod and reel and, and a hey, boat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. a fish. Good times, though. So just double checking, Jesse. You know, yeah. got to make sure we. Yeah, alter ego. I Here's what we've learned so far this morning. Okay. Jesse does not catfish, and we are not financial advisors. No. There we go. <laughs> and who would have thought? Two things we are not. Well, that's Absolutely. Just, uh, sped up our week a little bit. Yeah, it did. Well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thomas, do Come you on. like catfish? Yeah. You like, uh, like to eat them? Yeah. Yeah. Or to catch them. Good. Yeah, it's good. 
I mean, I... I, I <laughs> Okay. Uh, now, what's the kind of fishing where you go in with your hand and you... Noodling. 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 What's noodling? Do you noodle a catfish or... You no? do, yeah. You, you, do. you take your, your hand and you stick it in a hole, a muddy hole, and then you wait, and then once the catfish grabs your arm, you what? grab the catfish and you pull it out of the hole. You've never heard of this? You yes. are making this up. No, they do it. Serious? I am dead serious. I've never heard of this. Arkansas, wow. Oklahoma. Bite, it bites around your arm and that's when you pull it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, what no. Mm. I would oh, never okay. do that in my life. Yeah, Look up some no videos. Way. It's, uh, I wouldn't do it either. No. It's a yeah. big fish. It can be dangerous, too. too so. yeah, what? I'm yeah. not waiting for something to bite my arm yeah. so I can pull it, pull out. it out. Come here, Jeremy. <laughs> I'm like, Maddie, Jesse, I got dinner. <laughs> got dinner on I'm my missing arm. half my arm, but we got uh, dinner. Worth it. Thanks. Oh, my word. Same way. I don't really feel comfortable. So you got to go underwater, too, like submerge yourself. Yeah. And then stick your arm. You can't see anything. Yeah. In no. This hole, well, I'll tell you hope, what. There, hope there's a catfish in there or something else. <laughs> Not hey, you something what, brother. <laughs> no, ma'am. Turtle or a gator, depending on where you are in the U.S. Yeah, big old snapping turtle down there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs>